So now we're going to talk about how to evaluate feedback to determine the significance of your instruction. You can do this by simply creating surveys, at the, so in the, distributing the surveys at the end of your course, whether it's an online training course that you link to an online survey or an instructor-led training class which you pass out a physical survey that people complete anonymously. What you want to do is try to assess or evaluate your course according to several levels. Those levels um, can be thought of as the four levels of training evaluation, which were described by Donald Kirkpatrick, whom said that there is a difference between how people feel about a training course or an educational class there's a, and how what they actually learn out of the course. There also is a difference between perhaps whether the course affected their behavior, which should not, which sometimes is different and independent from how people feel about a course. And at the organizational level, there is also a difference between how it was affected. Um, despite what people may have thought about or learned from or behaved differently as a result of the course. These are the four levels of evaluation. So again, how people react, what they've learned, how it changes their behavior, and at a broader level and sometimes a more difficult level to achieve, which is um, assessing essentially the return on investment. So your evaluation can be very simply a set of three, court, uh, three questions that are tied to these different levels. So for example, if you want to know how people feel about your course, you can ask the question, what is your overall reaction? And you can very simply even have what are known as smiley faces <laughs> and have them circle the smiley faces to determine how they feel. Always have all kinds of extremes from a happy smiley face to an unhappy one and a neutral, a neutral kind of center point, which means that folks um, perhaps didn't have a reaction to your course. Um, what's more important, too, is to provide some kind of a Likert scale that gives enough variance between your measurements so that if people were really, really unhappy versus um, strongly happy, <laughs> people can communicate that with simple, with simple images of smiley faces. To assess learning, you can leave this as an open-ended question. And you can simply bring this out by asking people to identify the three things that they've learned out of your course. Hopefully, whatever it is that they put down is closely aligned to any objectives you've identified during the design of your instruction. And finally, you can also assess behavior by asking the simple question, this course affected the way I do my work, which is different than how people might feel or what they've learned about um, during your course. And when you're presenting this question, this course affected the way I do my work, you can provide answers on a continuum where people can indicate whether they agree or disagree. And of course, in the middle, whether they're neutral about the statement in general. And of course, try to provide enough variance. Usually about five spaces is all that you need. So again, what you want to do is provide a way of obtaining summative evaluation of your instructional initiative by measuring reaction, learning, behavior, and hopefully results. And that is how you evaluate feedback to determine the significance of your instruction.